Hi there. In this video, we're going to talk about something that a lot of women really care about, which is knee fat. And I just want to share, first of all, that it's not actually knee fat, it's displaced fascia. So I'm going to have Quinn stand up so we can talk about the mechanics that cause this accumulation of tissue over the kneecap and what we can do about it because a lot of people go and they get this tissue suctioned out, liposuction. And what that's actually going to do is cause more problems with mechanics of the knee joint. So that's not a, an option that we would strongly recommend for you when we can do so many other things. So the first thing to understand is proper lower body mechanics. And I'm just actually going to have Quinn face me from the side. Yeah. So this is Quinn standing in correct alignment. And we ta we've talked about the rooting video and proper lower body foundation. So we're going to get him to let this go and stand how most people do, which is hyperextending the knees. So the first thing I want to do, and I mean, obviously when we're looking at Quinn's body, it's not like Quinn has excess fat, but look what happens. We can grab this <laughs> tissue right above the knee. And the reason is, is when we stand properly, proper alignment actually creates a floor for this tissue to be supported. When we let that floor go and we hyperextend, we lose that floor. So the way the fascia winds and, and glues, it creates this saggy look. And people think it's fat, but it's not. It's simply incorrect mechanics and a bunching of this tissue. So just imagine if you go and you get this um, dealt with liposuction, now you are literally sealing your fate because you're going to make this area tighter and you're going to lock the lower body in hyperextension mm -hmm. and that's going to cause problems long term for everything in your body. And I just want to mention quick, right now my quads, as soon as I hyperextend, my quads are turned off. Now look at the difference in my quads from when I bend my knee slightly. Yes. It's, it's, a com it's completely different. So now we're actually using how our body's designed. We're using the correct muscles, tendons, and ligaments to support this area in the joint compared to just letting the two bones just rest on each other. And another thing that the fascia is going to do, because when we hyperextend, we lose that proper foundation. So now the fascia is forced to grip onto bone to attempt to create stability. These grips block blood and oxygen flow, which even creates more problems in how tissue looks and how we function. So we're going to show you one simple exercise that you can do in addition to changing how you stand so that you can release that fascia from the bone and start to lift it up through proper mechanics. So the position. Yes. Perfect. So what we're going to do here, this is a position we teach in block therapy. Um, in a previous video, we talked about using a rolled up towel so you can watch that, how we roll it up. But again, that will Pretty simple. work. Just rolling up the towel. <laughs> you just want it nice and dense. <laughs> It's pretty so just roll it up. <laughs> but that's that's exactly it. The tighter you make it, the more dense it will be. So I'm gonna be using our tool, the block, and we're positioning this on the quad, but just above the knee. So of course we need to understand the entire fascia system and we can't just address this area to make that change, but this is a position that will definitely help. So to get into this, I'm gonna just have it flat for this position because that's gonna be similar to what you're gonna be experiencing. And I'm gonna demonstrate this on my right side. So as I get into this position, all I'm doing is bringing my right lower quad, so it's just above the knee, on the block like this. And then I'm bending my opposite leg, my left leg to its side, and then I'm gonna stay up on my elbows. Once I settle into this, of course I can bring myself flat to the floor, but this is how we will start off this position. And we have demonstrated in previous videos how to access proper diaphragmatic breathing by beginning on the belly button area, which we strongly urge you to do because what that does is it really gets the breath going. So whatever else we're doing in other parts of the body, we have a stronger mechanism to send that blood and oxygen flow to the area of focus. And the goal is that we find the pain because adhesions in the fascia is where the pain lives. Adhesions are letting us know that there's a block to blood and oxygen flow and cells will give you pain signals when they are starving. So we wanna become pain seekers. So one thing you can do when you're in position as well is slowly start bending that knee. That creates a bit of a stretch in that quadricep muscle so it lengthens the muscle as we're putting pressure in over time. And we wanna stay for a minimum of three minutes 
just because we can't rush melting. And the goal is that we get all the way to the bone. Now, the challenge with the towel is you're not gonna get all the way to the bone because the reason we use bamboo as our medium is because bone and bamboo are similar in density. And if we wanna be able to drive through those adhesions to get to the root of the problem at the bone, we need something similar. But just starting with something dense, whether it's a book, a rolled up towel, whatever you're gonna use, you're gonna start seeing some changes and if you want to understand the whole system, you'll be able to find us and you can dive in if this is something that's making sense to you. So we're not going to stay for full three minutes, but I would suggest doing both legs for a minimum of three minutes after that belly position and do it every day combined with standing with your knees properly bent like we've demonstrated in those prior rooting videos. And when you're ready to come up and out, always exhale with the movement out of position. Perfect. Okay. Anything else to add? I don't think so. I think this is going to make a very uh, significant change for you integrating the belly, the two positions on each or the position on each side with the proper um, understanding of how to stand correctly. So yeah, that's pretty well everything for this video. But, but just to add, when we are talking about the fascia system, we can never get a full result that we want just by doing one position. We mm -hmm. need to understand that the fascia connects us from head to toe and that's why in block therapy it is a full body approach because ultimately our goal is to feed all parts of the body and get all cells properly aligned and just focusing on one area will give you again some some changes over time but to really get the impact of what you want to see uh, the, the system mm -hmm. is designed for that. Awesome. So that's everything for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Any comments or questions, leave them down below in our description. If you want to learn more about block therapy, the links are located there as well. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video and we will see you next time.